What's up guys, Cash Tiff here, back at you with another video. And today is a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to be doing a What's in My Bag. It's a throwback from 2016. What's in my bag? I, I'm glad that I finally get to do this. I haven't done this before. So it's pretty awesome to actually show you guys what I have. And let me know in the comment section also, what do you guys like to use that I don't have? Or something maybe a little bit different, like what do you have that's different from mine's? Let me know in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first thing in this gym bag is going to be the bag itself. Now, right here we have my old school wrestling bag from high school. It's got a couple compartments here. And the first compartment we have some collars, some barbell collars. And I use these collars really when I'm squatting and benching most of the time. And then I just recently started using it on my deadlifts a lot just because the weight's it's a lot more weight and it's a lot more potential for it to shift. So I use these a lot and it's way better than just those metal ones from the gym. So these are probably one of my favorites to go with. Now these are the actual headphones right here and these just go in with the cord and I actually want to go wireless but at the moment this is what I have and this is what I'm working with. So these are pretty cool and I love the base on these, they just kind of bump. These are Skull Crusher, Skull Candy, Skull Crushers and they are heavy on the base, you put a battery in here, about a double A battery in here, and then you're usually good to go. Then the next thing I have is a funnel. Now I use this funnel pretty much anytime I need to get my protein, well, especially when I'm cutting. Cutting is the main thing for me, is like holding on to that muscle mass. So within 30 minutes of my workout after it, I like to put a scoop in here of whey protein, and then you just put this on any water bottle that you have and it just funnels out the bottom. So you just twist it off and boom, it funnels right out the bottom. Next up we have the one thing that I love and that is my weightlifting belt. I got this just recently, so this is kind of a new addition to my little setup, but it's not the same colorway that I want exactly, but the red and the black are on point. The only thing I wanted to change would be this. So I'm gonna eventually get a black version of this belt buckle, but it's really cool because it's just a quick release. You literally just, you create your abdominal pressure when it's tightened, and then when you're ready to take it off, pop, and it's off. But it holds super tight, it's not as loose as you would think it is, and it's about 10 millimeters, and I actually got this from Enzer.com. They're really, really great quality, very tough, and it's, I believe, three millimeters thick and 10 millimeters wide. And this is great to use in any competition. It's USAPL approved, IPF approved. So you can pretty much use this anywhere you go, any competitions you compete in. And just an overall great belt. We have, for deadlift time, a handy pair of deadlift sleeves. Some people use deadlift socks. I don't really like using super tall socks. As you can see, there's been a lot of wear on these. Actually, I clean these off. But I'm not a fan of deadlift socks, so I like to use deadlift shin guards, basically. Or deadlift sleeves, as we do call them. There's been a little bit of wear and tear here, but I've had this for well over a year now. And it's still holding pretty strong. This part is padded, so that way you don't feel the bar really scratching against you, cutting into your skin. So I've done it many a times, and I'm trying to save my legs at the moment. So this really helps me. Next up, we have a towel. I'm not gonna show you the brand of the towel just because it is basically any towel you can grab from anywhere. But it's just a regular old towel. It's a hand towel. You basically get these from Dick Sporting Goods or probably your gym has it. But it's just really to just, when I sweat a lot, it's usually from deadlifting and squatting. Mostly deadlifting. I don't know why I be sweating like a monster, but these are good to go. So, pants out. And then next up, I got my USA and IPF approved knee sleeves. Now these are, as you can see, SBD. I got the medium version, and I got pretty big quads and pretty tiny <laughs> calves. So yeah, you've, you've seen my calves, so you already know what it is. But yeah, these work great. Still holds its form very well. I usually turn them inside out when I'm not using them. 
just so it can air out. But yes, these are SBDs. They feel the compression on your knee so that way you don't get a lot of knee travel when you're squatting or or you can use them for deadlifting. I never use them for deadlifting, only squatting. But it prevents a lot of knee travel. It really keeps that knee stable. Next up, we have knee sleeve warmers. Now I use these warmers because over time you're gonna get some wear and tear on your knees. Your knees are gonna start aching, they're gonna start killing you. When you wanna go in for a sesh, you're already still sore. So these are great, you just throw these on and you're pretty much good to go. You wanna warm up for a while with these on, maybe do a couple warm up sets, maybe do some leg extensions before you do anything. But you basically are just wanting to generate enough heat and this is very, very thick. I forget what material this is. It feels sort of like cotton and a little bit of wool. So it basically holds in a lot of heat, warms up that knee, so it lubricates it very well, keeps, keeps the joints very uh, warm, loosens up the tendons, and I'm usually good to go after about three sets of this. I can move on to my working sets. So I usually wear these all the way up to my working sets, then I'll throw on my SBDs around 75, 80% of my max. Next up, we have knee wraps. Now, I am not too crazy on knee wraps, and that is a personal thing. Some people like knee wraps. The reason why I don't wear knee wraps is mostly because I want to compete in a raw competition. And if you're trying to compete in raw, you can't use knee wraps. Or so far that I know, most federations don't allow you to use these in raw. These are usually an equipped item because they provide about 10, five to 10 pounds to your deadlifts and squats. So I don't use these personally. And then also they are just, they take forever to put on and they feel uncomfortable. And then, Got over here the last thing, but not least, Versa Grips. If you don't know what a Versa Grip is, it's the same thing as a Cobra Grip. These are basically anything that you, a grips that you need to hold onto the bar. So you'll put one on, I'm gonna use this hand. So you're gonna put one on like that. Pull the strap over, throw it through there. It's a Velcro on this side and this side. So all you gotta do is just pull it tight onto your wrist, wrap it around, and boom, you've got some Versa grips. You can wear it this way if you'd like, or you can do it this way. I prefer this way because if you're gonna use Versa grips, you might as well use them this way. Cobra grips usually go this way. So these are Versa grips, you just wrap it around your bar, it takes like two seconds, and boom, you can start pulling. I only use these on back days because I, on back days I'm not really trying to practice my grip strength too much. I'm really just worried about hitting that back and making that really pumped and really really crazy sore. And that is all I have in my gym. Oh, one more thing, a lock. If you go into the gym, you're not locking up your stuff, you're just risking the chance of somebody stealing all of your equipment. All the things that you paid so much money for. So buy yourself a lock. You can get these little things at CVS. Lock up your equipment because you can't trust everyone out here. I certainly don't trust everyone. So this is what I like to buy to make sure that everything is all right. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you really enjoyed. I'm glad I finally got to show you guys what I carry in my gym bag. And I hope you guys can tell me what you have in your gym bag that you might think I should add to mine. Cause that's how we make the community better. Better equipment, better lifts, much more strength and size gains. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to go get yours. I'll see you guys in the next one.